following the instructions of another YouTuber whose link should be in the description below, I'm finally going to try carving an avocado stone. The first step is to remove the skin and separate it into two pieces. Now I don't like watching videos of people handling knives, so I just want to lay it out there right away that I did not injure myself or even come close to injuring myself in this video, so there's no need to wince or think that you're gonna see something terrifying. <laughs> you can rest easy. I've never done this before, so I was really surprised that when it oxidizes in the air, it makes this creepy, rusty, bloody looking color, which is seriously unsettling. I really wanted to try embedding stones into this thing, so when it's still fresh and new, I need to dig out a trench to custom fit my stone that I chose to put in there. In my case, it's going to be a piece of beach glass. And if I do this right, when it dries out and shrinks to almost half its size, it should hold the piece of glass pretty firmly inside. I'm cutting away a trough, but I'm leaving a bit of a lip that will extend a little bit over the glass to hold it inside. So I'm digging out a trench large enough for the glass, but an opening that is smaller than the stone, which is not really that easy, but I basically just dug a little trench until I was able to wedge this sucker in there. <laughs> Now it's dry and literally like half the size. And I wasn't really prepared for just how hard the texture on this was. Again, I'm being really controlled in my movements, cutting it like I would peel an apple. The first question is, you know, is this a really hard thing to do? I'm gonna say kind of yes. <laughs> And since I only have knives to work with here, because I didn't go out and purchase wood carving knives or anything like that, and cutting things out with an X-Acto knife isn't that intuitive to me, um, it was also really difficult to it was really difficult to do delicate things, and part of that is because I was so fixated on making sure that the knife doesn't slip, so my hands might not be in the most efficient position, and I'm trying to make sure that the nut is leaning towards the camera so you can see it. So both of those things hindered my progress a little bit. So I made a lot of mistakes and I cut a bunch of stuff off that I didn't want to, but it was very fast. I'm pretty sure each side of this nut maybe took an hour tops to do. So while it is difficult to handle and required a bunch of motor skill, it's easy in the sense that it doesn't take as long as a stone carving or something like that. I was thinking how much I would have loved a project like this um, in high school, like when The Lord of the Rings first came out, The Fellowship of the Ring, I was so obsessed with the carvings in that movie. <laughs> I would make little replica brooches out of Play-Doh and paint them. So this project would have been amazing <laughs> to do fantasy type accessories with, for sure. I obviously didn't really have access to avocados in high school. In fact, I'm not even sure if I would have known what an avocado was in high school. <laughs> I don't think I actually ate or saw an avocado until I was like 20, so. And I'm only now learning that you can carve the stones, so this is super fun. The second one, I was just doing a random stripey border with a star, it actually kind of looks like a Pokemon to me, or a weird seashell. I really like this one too. Um, I used like a resin stone, it's like not even a real stone. Typically you want to finish this off with tongue oil, but I'm trying to do this project with things that I just have around the house, so all I have is this mineral oil for cutting boards and stuff. It's not great because it does evaporate away over time, but just for the sake of getting this beautiful rich color for the video, it works really nice. It actually even de-beached my glass, which is kind of unfortunate, but I am so excited to buy avocados now. Maybe an overall a very cool, kind of easy, kind of hard carving craft that you don't need fancy tools to accomplish. Mm -hmm. 